What do you think about the fact that there's so many places to choose from? I am stunned, absolutely stunned. <laughs> I think it is a uh, very poor marketing choice. I mean, new folks coming in and out saying bye-bye. I don't know how they can all make money, to tell you the truth. Because when you have so many um, shops going after the same clientele, I think you have difficulty really making a big profit. I think it's a little overwhelming because you don't really know where to go and um, I think that even though it's nice to have the, the selection, there are pretty much the same flavors everywhere except for some special things like, I don't know, almond, whatever, caramel or passion fruit, but in general there could be less, there could be less. You know, I, 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 you know, I find when concepts work, you know, people tend to open up multiple uh, franchises or stores or brands and uh, so, you know, if it works, um, obviously there's demand for more of them. Uh, I guess there could be a concern if somebody were to overbuild and you have a, like a coffee shop, you have a frozen yogurt shop on every corner. I mean, I like frozen yogurt. It seems like the new thing, like before it was cupcakes and now it's frozen yogurt. It's just kind of cool to see what like the trends are in there. Uh, I think it will last. I think it will maybe not be as popular as coffee places because there are not so many opportunities to sit in the yogurt places and it, the atmosphere is a little different and I don't think people will start using their gadgets and working in frozen yogurt places. But just from the general, from, from my personal expression, when I first got confronted with frozen yogurt here, I really think it's, 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 a, it's a good thing and I really think that it will last. I mean, I think right now it's still growing and there are some places that are closing down like two places on the street just closed down recently um, but then this place opened up so I think it's gonna last at least for like another few years oh. uh, well I think that we just from from the marketing side they just have to make people let people know that frozen yogurt tastes a lot better than ice cream and it's a lot healthier than ice cream because it doesn't have so much fat and so much sugar so I think if they manage to make frozen yogurt a part of a healthy diet by saying oh, it's okay to crave for sweet things but then eat the right sweet things like yogurt instead of ice cream, they could like that they could succeed and there could also be this wide variety of different places. Um, well this is a franchise so we've got a bunch of stores in San Francisco, some in Asia and this one just opened up about a week ago so we're still figuring everything out. We've got a bunch of gelato flavors, a bunch of frozen yogurt. In this area where we have so many high schoolers and so many college students coming onto the streets of Palo Alto and to some degree in the car, we, we have a, a huge clientele. So I think what would happen is if that clientele became less interested in yogurt as an alternative to uh, other junk foods, mm -hmm. then I think we, we'd see some real trouble. But there's a culture in this town of healthy eating, mm -hmm. and so um, even though not everybody's eating healthy, there's still a culture.